Hey, Luffy. You say you wanted to join my crew? Yeah, Shanks. Come on, please let me join your crew. Alright, kid. Get, get yourself packed up and get ready to head out. We leave it tomorrow. Yeah! I'm so excited, everyone. I can't wait. I hope we all can get along and have a good time. A few hours later, as Luffy prepares himself, as he heads down towards the docks, as he's like, Shanks, is you ready? Yeah. We had an hour and two minutes, Luffy. Hurry up. He's pulling up the anchor now. As Luffy jumps on deck, as he says bye to everybody at the town, as Whoop Slap is like, yeah, never come back, Luffy. Yeah, 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 old man. Bye, Makino. I hope we see each other soon. Bye, Luffy. Take care. I will. As they wave bye. As they say bye to the red hairs. As we cut a few weeks down the line. As we see Luffy rolling around the ship. Making sure everything is clean. And as he's just deserving everybody doing their workout. As Luffy says, Well, I think it's time for me to start working out myself. I gotta show out my, my worth on this crew. I can't just be, you know, slacking around and just cleaning up things. So, Luffy begins to do a hundred push-ups. A hundred sit-ups. A hundred... A hundred deadlifts. As... He grabs the side of the boat and begins to hang on there for hours. Sh strengthening his arms and gaining muscle mass. As Luffy jumps back on deck, he's like, whew, whew, I worked up a good sweat. I need to go take a bath. As Luffy heads towards the bath, as he gets in the shower, and washes off all that muck and gunk. It's really was smelling like B.O. before. Now he smells good, he says. Whew, I mean, if I keep that up, I'm definitely going to get strong. As we do a huge time skip. Now Luffy is around the age of 16. As his workout regimen is intense. He lifts a hundred ton Weights and does 30 reps with them. Reps with them. As he does 30 deadlifts. As he begins to go crazy on his workout regimen. As the crew is watching him work out. You know, Shanks, that kid works out more than anybody on this crew. Even you, Captain. Yeah, I know. He has something to prove. I just don't know what. I think it's time to get him a sword. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So, what should, what kind of sword should we get for Luffy? Katana? You know, anything like that, certs. I think a katana would be fitting. I think I heard about the Marines talking about this new blade that they found. In one of the camps near us. It's called the Marisama. That's what my intel told me. Is that so? What does this Marisama do? It's a... It's a dark... It's a black blade. But the thing is... The blade itself is not black. But the hilt is. But... I heard... It moves at super high frequencies. I see. That can weaken... Any target molecular bond. Is that so, Ben Beckman? So, if you put two to two together, with strength like that, with a sword like that, you could probably cut anything down. Huh. These marines are really getting out of hand making such dangerous weapons. But hey, I think it'd be a nice toy for our boy Luffy, don't you think? Yeah, as all the crewmates agree, as they get devilish faces on their, um, on their face. <laughs> as, um, Luffy's like, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> Well, Luffy, we bought, we're going to raid a Marine's base to get a certain weapon. It catches my eye, and I want it. Is that so, Shanks? All right, when we head it out, right now, Ben Beckman head course to the island. 
Yes, Captain. As Ben Beckman sets course to the island. As, you know, Luffy's like, so, what are we stealing from them? I know it's a weapon, but you didn't say what kind of weapon. Well, it's a, it's a blade. Really, a blade. But don't you already have one? Yeah, but hey, there's something special about this. You see when we get there. I bet, says Luffy. Come here, bitch. Stop trying to resist me. Just give it to me. No, get away from me, you freaking pig. No, I said give it to me. No. I said. Oh, my head. I told you. You should have just listened to me and I had to resort to this. Now give it to me. No. Leave me alone. Please. I don't give a damn about none of that. Man, celestial dragons are ruthless. Jeez. Hey, we gotta do our job. We can't say nothing. We can't do nothing about it. Unless you want your loved ones to get slaughtered. <sighs> Fucking bastards. Yeah, I know. I feel the same way. Trust me, if I can just boil his fucking head off, I would, says Akihino. And Aokiji is just like, yeah, but we can't do nothing about that. Poor girl. What was her name again? Her name is Boa. She's, uh, she's one of the slaves. Ah, oh, poor girl. Ugh, man, that was good. Best thing ever. Oh, boys. Is everything situated? Uh, yeah, it is. The weapon should be here in a few. As he's like, great. Now come here. As he pulls the chain, as you see, a young, beautiful woman. Well, not right now. Her face is kind of distraught. She's been through it all. She's on her verge of just giving up. Oh, I love that look on her face. She's just broken. Oh, it makes me feel so good. As Akihino and Aokiji just makes this disgusted face towards Charlos. He's like, hey, what are you looking at? Don't forget who paid y'all. Unless you want to see your family get cut down. So they like, they fixed their hat. And like, it's this way, sir. Good. As he walks towards the room with the Marisama. Oh, such a beautiful weapon. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I paid top dollar for this. I spent over five billion berries for this to be perfect. It better work how I want it. Otherwise, I will have your head. You hear me? Vegapunk. Yeah, 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 I heard you. It was perfect, okay? Now, try to use it to see if it fits your liking. I don't really care if you threaten me. You can't really touch me anyway. You know that well as they do. Oh, yeah, shut up. Who cares? I just paid you to make my weapons. And if I want you dead, I can make you dead. Says Charlos. As, um, you know, fucking, uh, Vegapunk is like, yeah, I bet. As his robot square up, as, as Aokiji is the voice of reason right here. You know what? Just chill, relax. We don't want to destroy this whole island. Prende, as they all agree, back off. Man, these celestials make me sick, says Vegapunk. Well, you're just going to have to deal with it, says Charlos. Anyway, how you turn this shit on? Press that button on the left. As he presses the button on the left, it's like, whoa. As he swings it at something, as it slices that thing cleanly. Yes, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Now nobody can stop me. As he sheathes the blade, 
Well, my business here is done. It's time to head out, boys. Yes, sir. And as Charles is like, get over here as he pulls the chain. And she's like, I'm I'm walk I'm coming. As she walks towards where Charlos is. As Charlos feels like a million bucks. As we cut back to the crew. As they arrive towards the island. As Luffy jumps off deck. And has a big smile on his face. Well, what's the plan, Shanks? Well, boys. Cause chaos and panic. While we infiltrate the main base. Me and Luffy will go there. Y'all guys can have as much fun as y'all want. Destroy, take, whatever sees fit to you. Just don't hurt any women that's on this island. Or young kids. Right? Got it, Captain. As they go and do their own thing. As Shanks and Luffy walk towards the main base. As Luffy kicks the main door open. Sending it flying. As all the guards are like shocked to see like who's who's dumb enough to attack a marine base as they all run out and who they saw they was not expecting to be there at all. Oh oh no, there's no way these two are here now. Guys guard up as they start shaking in their boots. And Shanks is like, hello. As he shoots out a wave of hockey, knocking most of the Marines out and making them foam out their mouth. <laughs> wow, they couldn't get past the hockey, says Luffy. Yep. As Shanks and Luffy begins to walk towards the main rooms. As Shanks is holding on to his blade. As Luffy's like, man, this is mad easy. Like... I was expecting some type of resistance. As soon as Luffy said that, the room got 30 degrees lower. As Shanks and Luffy eyes raises. Shanks, you feel that? Yeah. He's here. Oh man, y'all really had to pick a date to attack this spot out all days. As Alkiji forms itself. Long time no see, Alkiji, says Luffy. So, what means brings you on this island, says Alkiji. Well, we have some intel that y'all have your hands on a very, very dangerous weapon, says Shanks. And I'm interested in it. Is that so? Well, you know I can't let you pass, right? I mean, you really want to fight me, Alkiji? Says Shanks, as his eyes turn red. I mean, I really don't, but I kind of have to. It's my job. As you hear massive, massive... Can somebody explain why Red Ear Shanks is here? Oh, Akihino's here as well? Oh, this could get interesting, says Luffy, as Luffy gets into his fighting stance. As Shanks kind of looks at Aokiji and Akihino. So, it looks like we're going to have a big fight. As he draws his blades. As he says, well, you ready to rumble? As Aokiji and Luffy and Shanks go into a clash. As this clash sends wave of hockey throughout the whole island. Sending it flying through everywhere. Making everybody pass out within the vicinity. As Charlo raises his eyebrows. It's like, who the hell hockey is that? As Boa is like shocked to see how much destruction is going on. What I mean is chaos and destruction, bro. When Luffy, Aokiji, and Shanks clash, they blew the upper level of the facility away. Like, that's how intense the clash was. Seeing it flying into the horizon. 
as Charlos is like, What the hell? As he grabs his Marisama, as he charges towards where Shanks and Luffy is at. As he sees them engaging in battle. As he's like, wait, is that red hair Shanks and Luffy? That's why I can sense that much hockey. As um Luffy turns his neck and locks eyes with Charlos. And um when Luffy sees Charlos, his blood starts to boil. Something vicious. Ah, uh, I see. You came back for vengeance, Luffy. How's that scar on your chest feeling? You son of a bitch. What are you doing here? I'm gonna fucking tear your head off, says Luffy. Yeah, but we know how that went last time. Your little friend, aka Sabo, got slaughtered. Cutting him down with such pleasure. You fucking monster! Luffy, wait! Says Shanks. I'm sorry, Shanks. You don't have to fight them on your own. I have to get my get back against him. Very well, then. <laughs> Go ahead. As Luffy chases after Charlos, as Charlos does eight stone maneuvers and dodges Luffy's every assault, as he blitzes towards back, towards the room, as they both and the falling out the window, landing on the ground. As Boa is shocked to see that somebody is fighting against Charlos, as she looks out the window. As it's a standoff between Luffy and Charlos, as you start to see the air terraform. It won't go like it did last time, says Luffy. <laughs> That's funny, I was gonna say the same thing. You sure you don't wanna go back and run tail to your little captain? I ain't running from you, pussy. Huh. Such dangerous words as Charlos get a smile on his face. Be warned. I'm not like I was before. You have zero chance against me, says Charlos. Huh. What makes you so confident? As Boa is looking at Luffy, what a courageous man he is. As Luffy starts to coat his arm in Iron Man Hockey. As he squares up against Charlos. As the rain is running off his forehead. As Luffy's eyes turns red. As they get into a vicious clash. The clash is so fierce. Is mass destruction everywhere as Luffy goes for a gut check, punching Charlo, sending him flying as Charlo spits out blood out his mouth. He's like, Bleh! Oh, you shit! As he pulls out his Marisama, and Luffy narrowly dodges the slash, like it damn near decapitated him. He's like, Holy shit! As you see the slash. Slice through multiple buildings, even cl cutting a piece of a mountain off. As he's like, whoa, what the hell? As he's like, <laughs> oh, he just got a taste of my Marisama. Fun fact, this is his first time in battle. I can't wait to split you in two. As Charlos blitzes Luffy. As Luffy kicks Charlos' wrist, sending it up so he doesn't get sliced by Marisama. As um, Charlo's voice, the um, blade slicing him in two. As Luffy's like, I can't let that shit touch me. I'm chopped liver if that does. As Charlo stabs the sword back into the ground. Hmm. Not bad. As Charlo begins to swing the sword around and around of his hands. Hmm. You know, you'll be the perfect person to kill with this weapon for the first time. Yeah, don't count on it, says Luffy. As Luffy realizes the situation that she ends. Because after the short clash he had with it, he realizes that blade is not normal. I'm thinking that's the weapon that Shanks was talking about. Hey, dumbass. He's like, huh, you talking to me? Yeah, is that the Marisama that everybody's been talking about? Says Luffy. Yeah, it is. 
Wow. Who's snitching? How did you get that intel, by the way? Is a rat among us? Huh. Maybe. Maybe not. Huh. I keep that in mind when I go back to HQ. Well, who said you... Why you think you're going back to HQ, says Luffy. As Charles is like, what? As Luffy puts his hands up in a boxing position. Which, you know, is shocking Charles. As Charles is like, what you trying to do? As he's looking at Luffy's hands. As his hands and his hockey is turning into red. And he feels a tense heat coming off of him. As Luffy gets a smirk. As he throws a jab towards Charlos. As Charlos did, like perceived the jab. As the wind pressure of that punch. Blows a hole right through his chest. Killing him instantly. Well he's still alive. But he's going to die. <laughs> As Luffy walks over to Charlos, grabs him by his throat, and this is for Sabo, as he crushes his neck, ending him entirely. As Luffy walks over where the Marisama is, as he picks it up and sheeps it on his back, as Luffy is a, hey, you up there, you want to get away from this? You want to have a good time? I know you don't want to be locked up here forever. And she looks at him. You're like, you talking to me? Yeah, you. Gorgeous. As Luffy jumps up towards the window. As he wipes the tears off her face. Hey, come along with me. You know, I'll, teach you, I'll take you out for a good time. You're like my crewmates. We're good people. You want to get out of here and escape this shit forever? As she jumps in Luffy's arms. Please, anything but here. I'm <laughs> this has been so much. I never thought I would see the day that that bastard would get killed. As he's wiping her tears away. Don't cry with that pretty face of yours. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, says Boa. But wait, before we go, uh, my sisters is also here too. Can we get them out of here? Yeah, leave me in a way. Matter of fact, show me where all the prisoners are. They all gonna get out of here. Everybody escapes. Really? Yeah. As Boa shows Luffy the way. As Luffy begins to cut down the gates effortlessly, ripping them off the hinges. As everybody is breaking out of there. So, we do... We're gonna do a time skip. <coughs> oh no! As somebody barges into the Gorose, as the Gorose like, what's the meaning of this? Please, this is very important, sirs. What is it? Spit it out for we decapitate you. Okay, okay, okay. Please don't kill me. Well, it's news that our one of our our high end bases was invaded and conquered. As the Gorose is like, how did it get invaded and conquered? Ain't El Kiji supposed to be in that exact coordinates? And Akihino? Yeah, but the thing is, it's reported that Red Hair Shanks, well as Luffy, was there. What? What is the meaning of of them being there? Why would they be there? Uh, I have no idea, but I only got one guess. I'm assuming that they found out about the Marisama. What? They got their hands on the Marisama? Yeah, this is reported. Luffy had it on his back before he left the island. We must report this immediately to the higher up, says the Gorose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Get out of here now. Yes, sir. As the Marine leaves. As they call Emu on his snail. What's the meaning of this calling right now? Please tell me before I destroy y'all. Sir, please. Listen and hear us out. We have a big, big, big problem. What is it? Well, one of our greatest marine bases was invaded and conquered. As Emu's like, is that so? So who did it? 
Red Hair Shanks and his crew. Is that so? And what did they take from the island? They got their hands on the Marisol. As Emu, Hockey, shoots all the way where the Gorose is at. Striking them directly. Making them near damn passed out. Y'all impotence. How did this happen? Apparently, somebody within our ranks told them. Is that so? I want you to find out who did and execute them the next day. Immediately. Understood. Huh. So Red Hair Shanks and Luffy killed the Celestial, you say? No. No, just Luffy. He killed him. Is that so? Give his bounty one billion right away. What? <clears throat> one billion? Don't question me. You heard what I said. Y yeah. Huh. And who was it that was killed by Luffy? It was Charlos. Huh. Well, he had it coming to him. But I have to say the example to everybody that messes with the Celestial Dragons. Even though I hated Charlos with my guts, he's still a Celestial. I don't want people thinking that they can crush us or do anything or rebel or resist us. Show him as an example. Raise his bounty to a billion. Right now. Understood. So, Luffy. Monkey D. Luffy. Kill one of ours. <laughs> Wonder how long can he live with a bounty of one billion? 